different than it was down at UCLA? What's been new about it? Yeah, I mean, a different energy with the coaching staff. Just a little bit different of a, like a practice schedule, I guess. But overall, I mean, just a bunch of good players at both spots. But just glad to be back in my home state, for sure. How has the team responded from the first scrimmage? Landing said yesterday it was the best practice you guys have had through fall camp. How, how has the reception been post scrimmage? Yeah, post scrimmage, I mean, getting the day off after we got a bunch of guys who maybe had to miss out on it because of some, some little dings earlier on there. Like, it seems like everyone's pretty much back now. And uh, I think we responded really well. Like, our first practice back was like, it was good. But then yesterday, like, like you said, it was, I think it was really good too, personally. And then today was a little bit of a lighter day for us. We had the spiders on, but I think we were real fast for the short practice, so I think we're sacking good days. What constitutes good days of practice? So how, do you, how do you judge that? I feel like you can just like feel the energy in between periods, like if there's some noise going on, and like really if like everyone's flying around. You can tell like when the ball's on the perimeter and if the defense is flying or the offense is trying to catch up to make touchdown blocks. I think it's really kind of once the play's over, like down the field when people are finishing, is kind of how you can tell. You know. Was there an example of that today? Somebody flying around making a play? Uh, today, I can't think of a very specific one, but yesterday, Justin Flo chased down, uh, like it was trying, well, I don't even know if he made the play, but chased him down like on a deep, like a super long run from way down the, or like from way behind. So that was, that was a memorable one for sure. Who's the hardest person that is covering you? Who's the, who's the best cover corner? Man, uh, it's, it's hard to answer that because there's different styles, but I think, uh, between Gonzo, uh, Manning, and uh, Quez. Like, I think all of them, are, they're all really long, all really physical, and play really good. But other than that, I think we, like young guys are really good too, like Julio Florence, I think could be really good for us too. But definitely like a big, big group of good guys. When someone's defending you, what do they do that, that makes it most difficult for you? What type of corner is more difficult for you to get open against? Um, that's hard, because I think it kind of just depends on the route, really. But, um, I mean, shoot, if you're long and have the feet, then that's just the best combo for anybody. So definitely just the longest corners with the best feet. How's the chemistry with the receivers and quarterbacks been going, and how have you seen that kind of grow through 11 days of practice? Yeah, I think it's going really good. I think you can tell at the end of practice, like when we're doing two minutes and stuff, because we're putting ourselves in hard positions at the end of practice every day just to simulate a game. And uh, at first, I don't think we were clicking as well. Like two minutes might not have went as great. As, uh, like as of late, I feel like we're finishing really strong and making big plays when we have to, just to get like the extra time out or whatever you need at the end, yep. You've been making plays this spring uh, alongside you. Uh, which receivers, you know, stand out from your point of view? Uh, definitely, I mean, just such an explosive guy. It would be Chris Hudson for sure. And then uh, Troy Franklin's been really consistent. Um, he just runs super crisp routes, and his releases for his size just look look really good. Uh, and then Seven McGee to get him in open space, and his, he's making great cuts. Him and Chris both look really explosive. So I thought those guys up there. We've seen a little bit from all those guys, but it's going to be sort of the first chance for a lot of you guys to, you know, play huge snaps. You know, play for the majority of the games. Have you noticed, you know, a sense of excitement with the pass catches this year? You know, getting a chance to step up and really make some catches. Yeah, I definitely think so. I mean, after last year, it's like the top three guys are all gone. You know, so. Uh, Having those those shoes to fill with a bunch of really good guys now, I think there's a lot of excitement. All the younger guys that had to you know sit on the bench last year just because there's really good seniors and older guys. They're just really excited, and right now it's pretty wide open. So you know we don't know who's going to start day one yet. So we'll see how it goes. Chase positionally, do you do yourself as kind of a natural Z receiver or? Do you have a particular uh, preference? Or? Yeah, I feel like I've always kind of been like labeled more as a Z, but then in practice, like this camp, uh, like the last few days, I've probably been playing more X and then a, a good mix of A too, really. So I feel comfortable in any spot now, which is great. I think that just came from like experience and many years of doing it. I mean, playing the A, having a guy like Kyle Phillips that I had, my roommate at UCLA, to be able to emulate some things he was doing, I think really helps me in that regard for when I'm coming inside. But I think definitely Z to start, but uh, other than that, like I feel comfortable everywhere. Now. As a veteran receiver, you know, coming back to your home state, you know, going to a new squad, how is it getting like reacclimated to like a new team, you know, a new group of receivers, and, like how like you know, getting the respect of like your other fellow receivers? You may be a newcomer, but you're also a veteran. Yeah, I think that was the great thing about coming in in the spring was just being able to right away instead of coming in in June, you know, and you're doing seven ons. It's kind of like everyone's feeling people out, like, like how's this guy going to be? Just being able to come in right away to practice and be able to prove yourself right away, I think, was like really important. And then being able to do that from then on, then the whole summer, you know, there's a chemistry with the guys when you go throw routes. You know, we kind of have a feel of who's better or what routes after the spring and who's not and whatnot. So I think that was just a great, great part of acclimating was coming early. 
how similar conceptually is this offense to what you were running at UCLA? Because I know Chip obviously was really close with Gus Malzahn, and that's really the origins of the H-U-N-H and all that stuff. So mm -hmm. like how similar concepts and, and even outright plays even at times in terms of yeah. what you guys were running to what this is going to be? I'd say, gosh, it's hard to say. It's kind of like a lot of it is really similar. Like when you break it down, like in the NFL, like the fact that guys can get traded and play the next week, it's like conceptually things always kind of stay the same. Like at UCLA, what we called Angel and Bird here is something else. And it's like, oh, wait, that's the exact same coaching points and everything overlaps. But uh, I would say like the philosophy is, def or philosophy is definitely going to be a little different as far as in, uh, situations, what we'll call. But I think there's a lot of the same base plays for sure. With seven in particular, he spent most of the time last season as a running back. What have you seen from a wide receiver perspective of how he's adjusting to that group? Does it show that he didn't play a majority receiver last year, or has he been adjusting well? Honestly, like, just say it's funny because I wasn't here last year, and it's like I came in and he was a receiver, and he fit in right away, and he's running really good routes. And uh, I think his releases have even gotten better since the spring, and I think he's all around just like, I think we can put him in kind of anywhere you want on the field. I think he could play X or Z, although we have been playing him mostly in the slot because of the running back history. But uh, I just think overall he's he's a baller, so it doesn't really matter where we put him. You try to take any tidbits from any of your fellow receivers in the squad, or like, do they ever ask you anything like, hey, how do you how do you do this breakout? Yeah, definitely a little bit. I mean, as far as like certain releases, it's like, oh, how are you like like selling the fade? Like maybe turn your eyes this way on like a quick out or something or. I mean, definitely, I'll, I like, like I was talking about Troy Franklin, his releases are really nice. So watching him in the X and like tight situations, kind of how he can get himself out of little binds and stuff, definitely taking some little things from him. I think the younger guys have taken a lot of things from me. I love like the come to balance, like kind of Devontae Adams releases, especially when you're in a tight space, just making it quick and taking something. But uh, I think, yeah, it's, uh, I think it's like very well balanced and everyone's pulling from each other. Is there one person who's like a leader with those receivers who's like showing other people more stuff than other people or is everyone kind of sharing that like responsibility of teaching everyone else? I would say it's definitely like there's probably like three guys that are probably up there like doing the most I would say but other than that I don't think there's like one guy in particular or anything but I think that um, yeah definitely like with like Chachi Delgado I think he's a really good natural leader. I think myself coming in as an older guy I've been able to take up that role pretty good too. Like Seven McGee's definitely just a smart guy and like a good vocal guy who's like takes charge and stuff. So I would say those guys for sure. I was gonna say players have mentioned you. Is that a role you wanted to take on when you got here? Is trying to bring some leadership? Definitely. I mean, I'm just like I'm as confident as I've ever been in my game, and I want to be able to shine that on other people and make them confident. And uh, I just want us to be able to go in with as many tools as possible. Because if I'm say I'm doing really good and I think I'm the leader and I'm the best receiver if the guys around me aren't playing good then they'll be shutting me down because I'm the only guy they got to worry about so I don't think that'll ever be the case this year so that's what's great I think we have like six dudes that can really ball.